Ho, ho, ho. I am Brian Carpenter, sports editor of the Meriden Record Journal. Welcome to another edition of This Week in High School Football. Though, Aaron, I got to say, here it is. We're coming off a Friday night where we just had two games. Just two. And for our local teams, they were good games. We had Maloney in action tonight. Maloney, undefeated Maloney. Did they stay that way? We also had Southington back at home against Manchester, looking to go 4-1. and one. And, hey, what do you know? Both teams won. Former Marist uh, roommates and teammates Kevin Frederick and Mike Drury, respective head coaches of Maloney and Southington. I'm sure they have lots to talk about today. We've got some highlights uh, from the Southington-Manchester game. Southington won that 44-6 to at 4-1. and one. Maloney, meanwhile, is over at Falcon Field. They took care of business against Bristol Eastern, 51-27. Some quick notes from that game. It's, it's funny, you know, you see here, 51 points. Angel Arce, five touchdown passes, five. And that ties school record. Um, four of them to Cam Marina. What a season Cam is having. The funny thing, though, is midway through the first half, you know, early second quarter, it was still a tight ball game. And uh, Maloney eventually turned it on, and it really kind of turned on a beautiful 55-yard fade from R.C. to Marino, hit him in stride. It was just a, a beautiful thing, a thing to behold. And Maloney, Coach Kevin Frederick, Spartans, 5-0. and oh. Let's take you over to Southington, see what transpired there on the turf of Fontana Field. Going to hit the magic space bar, and we are off. Big news starting this game. You'll see number 12 there starting a quarterback for Southington. That is Shane Laporte. Now, Brady, uh, Brady Lafferty has been starting. He did come on, and he did play the second half, but Shane Laporte... Uh, got the start tonight against Manchester. This is the first possession, and uh, Southington's knocking on the door, and they actually don't get in on this possession. And they get the field goal here from Mr. Jack Barnum, a sophomore, one of many good kickers on the area front. And speaking of good on the area front, here's one. Dylan Cole. See what happens when you stay low to the ground? This is a 76-yard touchdown for Dylan Cole. Start of a big night for him, 246 yards for the senior, his second Straight 200-yard game, scored three touchdowns. And on the ensuing kick, Manchester fumbles. Derek Bednar makes a recovery. Now this is Lafferty. This is in the second half. He's in, and he hits Carter Omen with a touchdown pass. Southington's defense continues to play well. That's linebacking core led by Billy Carr and Max Casella. Here Ryan Walsh gets the sack. Only six points allowed tonight for the boys in blue on defense. Another connection, Lafferty to Omen. Omen, eight catches tonight. He is Southington's leading receiver. Here's Lafferty tucking and going for a little bit. What it leads to is one last touchdown. Actually, this is a, I, I strike that, reverse it. This is MJ Bennett. MJ Bennett, a senior running back, also having a good year. He scores for the Blue Knights. And this is the final touchdown of the night for Dylan Cole. Like I said, he had three touchdowns, 246 yards. Nice little balancing act, and check this out from his lineman, Mr. Ryan Andrews. Boom! <laughs> Tosses him like a sack of potatoes. Ryan Andrews, I want you blocking for me because I don't run as fast as Dylan Cole. I need all the help I can get. Nice win tonight for uh, the Blue Knights. Their 15th straight over Manchester Southington, 4-1. and one. Venture Maloney wins. Angel Arce tying a program record with five touchdown passes. Four to Cam Marino. James Tarver with another touchdown run in that game as well. And that game, by the way, Aaron, while you were in Southington, over at Maloney, I got there like one minute late, one minute, and there was already like two touchdowns on the board. Tarver scored one, and the dude from Eastern runs one back uh, for a touchdown. Maloney on this night, though, once it got its offense going, once Angel found the groove there, 51-point uh, night for the Spartans. All right, listen, now, if you're watching this, uh, this film early Saturday morning, by all means, please get in your car now and drive up to Newington where the Platte Panthers are playing. Coach Jason Bruin and the Panthers looking to go to 3-2. and two. And then that's it. The SEC guys had their bye week this week. They'll all be back next week along with Wilcox Tech, and the CCC guys will be off next week uh, with their byes. Hey, that's it. It was a short Friday night, and you know what? Whew. It was nice to have kind of a, you know, a nice little cadence for once on a Friday night. But as usual, a good one for our area football teams. I am Brian Carpenter, sports editor of the Mayor and Record Journal. My man Aaron Flom. Thank you to Ron Buck for covering Southington. My man Johnny Pettit over at uh, Falcon Field. We'll catch you next week. Athletes of the Week, Week 5. Be good. Across midfield, second and 